this is Lord Mad Dog, and we are playing Kenji! <laughs> yeah! Okay, so last time we, after retreating horribly bad from the Bugmaster, we did some exploration, basically getting nothing but maps and junk. But it wasn't too bad. I mean, we just explored the, the mountain ridges or whatever they were. And um, this time, we're going to do a little bit more exploration, I believe. But first, I noticed that this guy was sitting down here, and I thought he might be a unique. I just every once in a while go around and click and see if there are some uniques in here. And this guy is indeed a unique bar visitor, so we're going to go ahead and read him. So, they visit anxiously. You are from the Sands, right? Outsider, outside town? Fortunately for me, yeah. Is there a problem? I am. Why do you ask? It is not your business. I am. Why do you ask? I've got myself in trouble with the nobles of all play people. Crud. God knows what they will do to me. Haul me off to the vault. Cut my tongue out. Break my legs. Ouch. Huh. Okay. That's bad. Have you leave? I have to leave fast. Can you help me? Uh, let's see. What can I do to help? The guards aren't going to let me out of that easy they're fickle when it comes to money though i can bribe them but i need three thousand cats now in real life i would say sure the problem is though i have a limit on my squads sorry not interested i would so help this guy out i would give him three thousand cats okay but um ah nope okay but I can't because I have a max squad of 30 people. Which is, I think is kind of stupid. I, I actually probably should just remove it and the mercenaries. Yes. All right. Now with that done, let's go ahead and um, see if this guy's. Oh, wait, we can't get in there. How, hungry Hiveless. New master needs. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and sell off some of the junk that we had or buy some food. And then run to the next, or the newest, less location, you know? The, uh, wherever that, the best, the map. We'll have to look at the map. <laughs> yes, that's what we'll do. Look at the map. Here we are. Ruins. Let's go ahead and run all the way up to the ruins. Yes. The ruins. Let's hope there's anything any good up here. Huh, less interesting by moon, but I think we've seen it before, have we not? I, mean, I think so. I think we've run through it. Hey, some big things! Big things! <laughs> lots of big things! Uh, lots and lots of big things. Alright, well, there's nothing here. Well, that's just peachy. Are you sure? Are we absolutely sure there's nothing here? Shoot. No. It looks like there is nothing here. Nope, empty labs. Yep, ruined, destroyed, empty labs. And, uh, whoa, we almost ran straight through a big thing nest. Actually, we did run through a big thing nest. There's just no big things here. Well, let's just kill the big things. Bleed for me, bleed for me. Lord Mad Dog pleads. <laughs> and just slacking this thing here. I was on block with Lord Mad Dog and I'm having x -rena train. Oh, wow, look at all those things. The raptors don't argue that, you know. There's tons of big thing eggs, but we don't, we don't need the big thing eggs. And, uh, uh, maybe attacking these things wasn't the best idea. There's just too many of them. I can't really practice my archery skill with them chasing after me. Wow, this guy's about dead to bleed to death. Look, he's leaving a trail. Oh, big things! <laughs> big things. <laughs> Gooders. <laughs> All right. Let's keep shooting these things. I'm just I'm leaving. I should turn off the blood. It's just so bloody. But uh, it's also kind of funny to see the giant V-shaped trails they're leaving across the land. There, right? No, no. This big thing's after me. Come on. I want to just practice my archery skills on you. <laughs> 
I think I read a comment somewhere that said the only inherent absolute evil thing in the entire game is big things. I mean, they'll go way out of the way just to kill you and for no other reason than because they can. They are absolute evil incarnate. That's what he said in the comments. But um, I don't think they're the only... Whoa, Lord Mad Dog has gotten surrounded. <laughs> but I think he'll be fine. And Lord Mad Dog can take these things out real easy now. But I think that blood spiders are also pretty pure evil. Uh, even more be be <laughs> we got a bloody mess here. I think it's almost time to... Uh, I'm probably using up all my arrows here. I found that you can skate most creatures and most enemies with a crossbow just by waiting until they go to attack and then stepping back. Lord Mad Dog just massacred every single... Guess who's eating who tonight? <laughs> it's hilarious! <laughs> yeah, Lord Mad Dog! Close your eyes, embrace the pain. Oh. Well, more big things. Uh, like I was saying, you, you, with crossbow, you can wait just as they start to attack and then move. And because they're in, in animation to attack, you can sidestep their attack, get a few steps ahead of them, and then sh shoot with the crossbow. It takes a little bit, it takes a lot of micromanaging, but you can practically kill anything doing just that with the crossbow. Not bad. We're getting up there in crossbow. Yay, look at the bloody mess we left. Oh, there's more big things. I thought we killed, well, we knocked them all down, but we didn't kill them. She's using all her arrows, though. That's the only problem. Uh, come on. Oh, more people after me. Lord Mad Dog, take them out. <laughs> come on. There we go. Ah, and the big things are no more. <laughs> that was a massacre. I mean, that was a massive massacre. That that would draw that would draw more big things because they like blood to smell of blood. At least I always thought they did. I think they're like land sharks, you know, hideous land sharks that want to be dinosaurs. And this is empty. And there's another one over here we just discovered. But ah, another big thing. Wow, there's a lot of big things. Well, I now know where to go to hunt big things. Thirty nine in crossbows. All right. Ah, another big thing. Come here. No, he's running away. <laughs> These things have some intelligence. Uh, anything in here? No, just another big thing. They're not actually called big things. They're called gutters, I think. But it's just hilarious. That's what everyone refers to them as. Big things. No, this is a high level. You can just keep shooting it. I mean, you can have Lord Mad Dog tank them or smack them if it has to be. You remember all the hours I spent killing these, though. Many, many in game hours that I've shown a lot of them. Not all of them, I don't know. I think I've shown almost all of them. No, no. There's just so many. I've spent many in game hours fighting big things. Alright, a new location uh, that actually might have something other than big things. 69 in dexterity. Hmm. See, so slowly building up in dexterity, but I'm going to have to go to uh, martial artist. Lord Mad Dog is going to see you here. Uh, I think we've pretty much leveled, I mean, leveled up the two-handed sword as much as we can really, because we're getting, we're getting to the point now. What happens is that you try to fight uh, uh, enemies. If they're not higher enough level than you, you don't actually gain any XP for using that weapon. And it's just, it's absolutely infuriating because that makes fighting lower level creatures worthless. And I, I don't, never like that. I, I've always thought that it was just a really stupid thing. Because, I mean, even, 
even if someone who is less experienced than me, there's always something I can learn from fighting them or try out new things on them. In fact, lower level in real life, lower le fighting lower level things can be very helpful. If you ever done like wrestle other people, uh, wrestling people who don't know very good, but challenging yourself can give you even more XP. But not you don't ever really lose XP from fighting lower level people. I think, just my opinion. Ah, sorry, yeah, there I had to pause for a second. Oh, Lord Met! Wow, that was a direct hit to the, his head. That was bad. I would just keep skirting with. Sort of, uh, snore, snow ire to Lord Mad Dog gets up. Oh, well, maybe not Lord Mad Dog. You're not going to get up before she gets knocked out. Those things are hard to dodge. Uh, so saying, uh, sorry for that little pause there. I had cut. I coughed. And they had to cut it. It's loud. And if you're wearing headphones, that would hurt. Anyway, let's keep trying to take these things out. Ooh, that was a lucky hit. Straight to the chest. One last one. Come on, Lord Mad Dog, you can do it. Whoops, I, I snore must have ran out of bullets. Just got your toughness up. So you got a level one toughness, I think. I'm doing that. And we're just gonna quickly go here and loot this uh, here. Yeah, nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, well, we can grab them. Don't need that. Oh, yeah, we got some ancient research books. But <laughs> we've got so many ancient research books at this time, it's ridiculous. The only thing we have to spend them on is building up electricity, and we don't really need to do that. We just build more. And, uh, yeah. Well, that was disappointing. Nothing here at all that important. Uh, I probably should take these. We don't actually need the money. Th that's a problem. After you get so much money in this game, there's nothing to spend it on. Let's run over to this one. Uh, yeah, okay, for a second there, I was wondering if Snow Hour was running with us. There we are. Let's keep going. Ah, and... Oh, it looks like one of these places. And where's the defenders? There is no defenders. There is nothing here. It's absolutely empty. Okay, that's either a bug or a misplacement, because that's just... Workshop. A workshop would definitely have something left to it. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it got cleared out, I guess. Let's get this stuff up. Inventory, switch things around. And I guess we gotta go home almost. Or is there another place I just clicked to? I'm <laughs> not really thinking about what I was doing. When I was clicking the map. There we go. Uh, we're not running at the exact same speeds here. Let's change some stuff. Let's get our equal out the, the weight. Yes. Snow is getting pretty high up in uh, in uh, athletics, isn't he? There we are. Here we are. I cut the rest of my finagling, and we're just going to run all the way up to the outpost. There is nothing else in this area. Yeah, they're both running about the same speed now. Well, now I'm a little bit more finagling here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I probably should just cut it all. But I'm just going to do this here. It's not going to take too long and it takes too much to edit it all out. There we go. Come on, that's at work. And yes, 18 miles per hour. Not that bad. And uh, she's getting up there. She's, she's coming along nicely. This is just one trip out and she's the, not quite as strong as Griffin was, but she's getting there. Poor Griffin just got left behind. We don't need him anymore. And he just gets to stand around all day doing nothing. Actually, I think I'm going to make him my cook. Because <laughs> my one cook is too, too, Finn is too busy harvesting all the time. So, Griffin, you're going to retire to become a cook. I wonder how he feel about that. Ooh, attacked. By Duskwind Bandits. Lord Mad Dog still has his backpack off. And I took the wrong one off. Oh, well. Learn Mad Dog doesn't have to worry too much about his backpack being on anymore. He just whacks everything anyway. And yes, I really sped that up. <laughs> I mean, not, a, not, a, not an editing, I just hit speed and just went woo. There you go. For some reason, not let me wear in there. I have to 
click around the bottom behind it, the AI pathfinding is not going so good because of my output just messed it all up. There we are. Coming on up. Woo! Well fought, enemy. Well fought. Ah, oh, the sec challengers. This is ridiculous. I've defeated you guys at least six to seven times. And you guys, and then you send the revenge against me, and I lose massive faction points, and I have to repair things. I don't really care. It's just... It's just absolutely annoying. I mean, that's just what it is. I mean, it, you guys just stop. In real life, you lose half of your men five times and that be it you don't know i mean all your men that be it no we, we, they're not hurting us they said they want to live in peace but we just keep attacking them i know Sheker are a proud race but uh, 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 there, there comes a limit of it it's stupidity and it just wouldn't be done it just wouldn't it just it's just stupid but yeah well whatever <laughs> i've complained about the constant attacking of my base before but i just i just I, this time that's not not so much as uh, anger just out of like uh that's stupid type of thought here we are let's go ahead and research some tech the hybrid mine uh revolve yeah i think we're gonna get the revolting barrel revolving barrel not that we need it probably six the hydroponics definitely gonna get the hydroponics and that's just all research books there Automated height. Nah. Revolving barrel. Yeah, let's get that. And, uh, automated mine. And, yeah, automated mine. And, no, I just spend the rest of my books. <laughs> I just spent them all. And, uh, uh sorry about that. I coughed again. I did it out. Okay. So, Hybrid stone mine. Yeah, we got we got all that. And uh, that, that's pretty much that. We're gonna go ahead and rest up. Uh, we gotta sell this stuff again. We are making Titan Model 2, which is the highest you can make at this current time. You should be able to make Model 3, but for some reason you are not able to. So here, uh, Lord Mad Dog and them are all fine and healed up. But I found out that slavers are coming and taking away the Shek that survive. And then their their bone dogs are eating my the dead the dead people out here. Hmm. I think it's about time to take care of the slavers. I mean I mean, cause Lord okay, I think for the end game content, we don't really need to do any more researching, any more what's it call it. What we have to do is get Lord Mad Dog stronger. And at the current time point, there's no real way to get Lord Mad Dog stronger, uh, except for dexterity, which we de uh, by far need. So we're going to basically, I think we're going to switch over to using martial artist mainly because that's what anti-slavers use. And, and if we use, if we go fighting with dex, uh, so I'm, sh I don't know where Tin Fist is. I want to join Tin Fist. I know he's a new part of the map. Um, the anti-slavers. If you don't know, that's he's he's the leader of the anti-slavers. Uh, I read that on the line. Uh, that's all. That's all I know about him. And so we're gonna run down to the slave market here, and then after at the slave market, we're gonna look for uh, look around a little bit. Sometimes there's anti-slavers around the slave market. And uh, first off, we're gonna go ahead and make a small. Uh, a small change here. We're gonna get our check rating back up. Yes, that's right. <laughs> no, when I didn't want to change uh, Snora anymore. No, I wanted to get my check rating back up because they continuously attack me nonstop. <laughs> so this is the new area of the map that's been locked, but there's nothing. I don't know where Tit Fist is at. I couldn't find it online. At least not yet. People aren't talking about it all that much. And, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, once again, I'm so sorry. I, I'm fighting off a cold, and I keep on having to cut in because I keep coughing hard. Uh, so we're just running through the woods here, run, running to the slave market. Um, because I, uh, I'm, I'm, swamp nest. Ha. And 
and uh, kind of, I'm kind of thinking about attacking, attacking it, but also at the same time, not really sure. All right. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I found an outpost. I seen it pop up, and I'm just gonna run over here and see what is outpost. And it is red sabers. I have no idea about anything about the red sabers. They don't attack me. I can't talk to anyone. Hmm. Interesting. And there's another one. Ruins. Let's check that out. And we're there. And there's nothing there at all. That sucks. <coughs> Uns <Unsack> again. <coughs> Just running on through here. So the ruins are nothing. Let's keep going to the swords, the slave market. Yes. And discovered Stone Rat Village. Take them. Ah, uh, Swamp Nars. Let's go ahead and take these guys are pretty fast. So we're going to have to fight them one on one. Let's have Lord Mad Dog thwack them. And, uh, it's, yep, Snow Art can actually shoot this thing pretty well. I know you can usually just take, uh, you don't you have to usually build it up. You just take it and, wow, she one shot at him. And anything we want from these guys? Not really. Nah. Well, take just one mask just to put for the heck of it. They'll sell it later, probably. Just in case we actually need it for something. Discovered another thing. An outpost. Let's go check it out. Swim across this green water. And see who's in here. Let's save just in case first. And it's a swap ninja Ganman. Well, I don't know anything about them either, and there's no one I can talk to about in year either, I don't think. So we're just gonna leave them be. Yeah. I don't know what their deal is, what they want, or why they attack me on sight. I could probably just wipe them all out, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, mercenary gear. Okay, that's not the swap ninja. They look like it, they're green. And here we are at the slave market. Yes, yes, yes. The question is, what do we do here? And the answer is nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I decided I'm not going to kill these guys right now. I I'm going to instead go search, actually go search for um, Tin Fist. At this time, there's not all that much information online. All I was able to find is that it's somewhere... Um, south, uh, south, well, southeast of Moan. I think it's east or southwest. I can't remember. Uh, it, it's basically, it's, it's close. It's in the area around the Ashlands. That's just unlocked the new area. Closer to the top of the new locked area. In that area. So, uh, <laughs> that's where Tin Fist is at. And so, we're going to run over there and try to find Tin Fist. And uh, the anti-slavers. Haha, <laughs> more beak things. Yes, we can kill some beak things on the way. Yes, haha. <laughs> Oof, whack. Let's go to do some build up some martial arts too, I think. We were, I think we're at like level 30 in martial arts already. So I think we should be able to do this. Uh, maybe not a good idea. There's a bit too many. Okay, Lord Mad Dog. Here. Let's see if you can do this. Well, he's doing good. He's getting hit a little bit here and there. Let's pull out the 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 the, the blade just to be sure he'll be okay. It'll bring up his dexterity too. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry about that. I hope it didn't hurt your ears. I've been cutting it out, but this time I didn't. I'm sorry. So, uh, my cough there. Uh, uh, Lord, my dog, I took off his weapon there, and yeah, he's doing good. He's 48 in martial artist. That's good, good. Oh, a spider. Oh, wow, one hit spot knocked down. I'm not sure who hit it. I wasn't sure if it was a snorer or a Lord, my dog. And here we go. And 
down the ghost of bleak things. Ah, there's another one over here. Come here. You here. And, uh, yep, down goes the big thing. Wow, oh wait, did Lord Mad Dog hit him or did she sh hit, hit, hit him? Not sure which. And down goes the big thing. Big things! <laughs> I smacked the poor creatures. <laughs> Just beat them all up. There we go. Let's go ahead and continue on our way towards the Ashlands. Yes, yes, yes. And Boneyard Wolf. Ah, I've never fought these things before. Whoa, they got high stats, though. Let's see if we can kill them. And, uh, here we go. Lord Mad Dog Swack Swack. Uh-oh. Uh, no, 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 no. Ooh, ooh. Ah, what? She ran right into it. I didn't mean... And Lord Mad Dog is getting his butt kicked in. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Alright, Lord Mad Dog is still getting eaten. Uh, that's not good. Let's give him a better weapon. And, uh, he's doing better. No, he's still getting attacked. It must be because of from all sides. Oh, Lord Mad Dog goes down. This is bad. And that one Bone Dog is bleeding all over the place, leaving a trail. And Snow Ire, uh, I'm not sure. I can't. I'm having problems with the terrain, too. It keeps won't let me click on it. Here again. Hopefully we can take these things down without actually. Here, yes. Go the door and get these things. Yes. Kill them. Stupid annoying things. Die. Uh, they're actually more dangerous than big things. Which is surprising. Aw, oh, Lord Mad Dog's leg is all messed up. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, okay. Uh, more big things. Let's just drop this joke. And take them down the big things. And wait, why did Lord Mad Dog just went down? Ah, oh, crud. No, 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 I can't outrun it. Whoa, what the? Big things. Elder. Wow, look at this thing. Wow, he dwarfs all the others. Well, there goes Snow Ire. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, and thankfully he's not eating Lord Mad Dog or anyone else. He's just eating the, one of the, oops, wow, <laughs> it went down. Uh, well, she took it directly to the head, and she's unconscious. And I leg is broken. So, that's just peachy. Ah, uh, another stinky. No, lots more stinking big things. Stop attacking Snow Ire. Come on, Lord Mad Dog, you can thwack these things. They're not that bad without that elder in there. Without elder in the mix. I actually think Lord Mad Dog could take out an elder. It's just... Uh, <laughs> he, he was already very wounded. Okay. Let's pick up, have Snow Ire pick up Lord Mad Dog. And continue to run. We got to go back up towards Morn. Ah, no more big things. Oh, we both went down. Oh, cheap shot. Hey, stop eating Snow Ire's leg. What the heck? Get up, Lord Mad Dog. Don't let them eat her. Go down, you evil creatures. <laughs> oh, die. Oh. oh, great. Lord Mad Dog has a busted leg. Snow Ire is absolutely unconscious. Uh, and we're going to take forever to move at this rate, so we're going to try to rest here. I know, I know full well this is not a good place to rest, but we're going to try. I have to, because if we don't, we're in trouble. Let's go ahead and put some food in there. Maybe a cr r r smell of roasting big thing will keep the big things away. We have to get her back to consciousness. She's still in a coma. Recovery coma. Lord Mad Dog, come on. Well, Lord Mad Dog's leg is almost really good. Let's go ahead and grab that meat there. She still can't move. She's getting toughness. She was at 30, what, 30 something? I don't know. All right, she's up. Now she can carry him. But I don't think she actually needs to now. Well, maybe we'll see. <coughs> 
Nope, not really. Uh, more big things! My gosh! Uh, but I think we can take these with just uh, martial artists. We need to start leveling up martial arts. And let's run around here. More big things. Die, you big things, you. <laughs> oh, he was being eaten. Gorillas were being eaten by the big things. I would think that the gorillas would be able to take out the big things. They're supposed to be super strong. You know, you'd be able to grab a big thing by the neck and grab a hold of it and just break its scrawny neck. And what's happened here? Oh, me. <laughs> yes, I happened here. Yeah, let's run back to Morn and take a rest because our bodies are all beat up. Big things! From big things. Killing big things. Big things must die. <laughs> I, I have, I am the slow, sole, sole reason of the extinction of big things. <laughs> At least I have uh, dwindled their numbers by a lot. But I haven't been actually been killing them lately. Hey, there's a guy I can talk to. Let's go ahead and talk to him real quick. And actually, I need to check how much time we have left. We may have to actually end our mission, um, our thing here. Uh, the guy didn't talk to me. Let's uh, go here. Uh, I'm going to check how much time we have left. I will probably need to cut it here. We'll see. And that is indeed all we have time for today. <laughs> today we didn't all exceed all that much except for a little bit of exploration and then a lot of running around and killing a beat things. <laughs> Leveling up crossbow. That's what I'm going to call this episode. Uh, the slaughter of the countless slaughter of big things. <laughs> Maybe that's what we call it. Yeah. I don't own this bed. Why not? Well, it's a bar. I don't have to own the bed. Blast it all. Oh, that just stinks. Might have to buy a house and set up sleepy thing here somewhere. Well, is there any place? Oh, okay. There's a lot of mats around. A lot. Of, oh, okay. Sleeping mats. They're not as fast to recover. HP. Whoa! Look at that thing! A Leviathan! Wow! 7,000 in stats! <laughs> wow! Dead. Ha. Well, it killed big things, too. Alright, that is indeed all we have time for today. I'm tempted to go after that thing, but I don't think we're going to do. Anyway, uh... Attack <laughs> unprovoked. It's the... Oh, it's not my doing stop. No, nah. <laughs> yeah, after watching him one hit that beat thing, I think not. Well, maybe. Um. No, nah, it's definitely not in the damage wound I am at right now. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this episode, like, share, uh, comment, and definitely don't forget to subscribe. Lord Mad Dog, signing off.